Hello and welcome. My name is Sharon Aguilar and today we're going to be sewing the civil robe. Um, I'm using the Ponte fabric from Fabric Wholesale Direct and it is such a nice quality fabric. It's going to make such a luxurious robe. So I'm excited to sew it with you today. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is cut out the pieces. So I'm going to show you me cutting out each piece and then I'll also show you each piece so that you can see what you need before you get started. Um, I ordered two and a half yards of this fabric. Um, I was able to get it in two yards. So if you're on the smaller end of the size chart, you might be able to eke it out of two yards. Um, the pattern has a view A and a view B. I'm going to be sewing view A, which means that um, it clasps in the front, while view B means that you tie it on the side. It's more of like a wraparound type robe. So let's get started, let's go into the pieces and then we'll be ready to sew. Thank you for joining me. So let me show you what I have cut out. So the first thing I do is I'll cut out my biggest pieces. So your first pattern piece that's the biggest is going to be your skirt. And if you're doing view A like I am, you're gonna want to cut it this size. And then for view B, you're gonna wanna cut it bigger. And you're cutting one on the fold for your back piece. And then you are cutting um, two that are not on the fold um, for your front pieces. So here is my back piece, there's just two rectangles, two long rectangles. And then here is my back piece and it's a lot wider. So that is that, I cut that one first. And then the next thing that I cut was my bodice back and that's cut on the fold. And then I also cut the side back. So your back has princess seams on it, like your front. So it's a two piece back. So you'll need to cut mirror images of these. So cut them with your fabric folded. And then I cut out my front and your front piece is not cut on the fold just because it opens up in the front. So I cut these as two mirror images and then I made markings where I want to um, do ties in the front. And I also cut out my side front bodice, and then also um, make note on the arm side, you're gonna have markings for the front and the back. They're different shapes, so make sure you mark the correct shape, or at least mark so you know which one is the front and the back. I cut out pockets, I actually only cut two of those, so I need to cut two more, um, because you need a pocket on each side. And then this is my facing for the back. I cut my sleeves, mirror images, and then I put markings on those. And then I cut my front facing. The only thing I have left to cut now is inner facing for my front facing and my back facing. And then I'm gonna use the iron on kind and I'm gonna go ahead and just iron it on to the back of that so that that is done. Um, and then we'll head to the machine and we're gonna get started. Okay, so the first thing that you wanna do is to get your bodice front and your bodice and your side front and then your bodice back and your bodice side back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull them apart. You should have mirror images and the front should look like this. So you have the front and then the side front. And we're going to sew our princess seams along here. So in order to do that, we're going to put it right sides together and we're going to clip it along 
all along here and you're going to want to ease these in um, and then let me show you you're going to have what's called like a little dog ear hanging off on the front so it's going to look like that you're going to line them up at where the seam allowance is and the seam allowance is three eighths of an inch so at three eighths of an inch you should have this little triangle that hangs off um, and that is so that whenever after you've sewn it and you turn it right side out that you have an even line right there so i'm going to go ahead and clip these and sew my side front princess seams and then i'm going to do the same thing on the back okay so i have finished sewing this princess seams for my front you'll notice that at your arm side that that overlapped at the 3 8 inch oh sorry at the 3 8 inch seam allowance that so you've overlapped that so that it's one one line right here and you don't want this to be down any and it will if you don't overlap now that I've done my front now I'm going to sew the back princess seams so your back is going to look like this it is one solid piece and then you'll have your side pieces for the back and you're going to do the same thing you're going to notice when you overlap them that you're going to overlap them like this and then you're going to have your dog ear at the top like this so that it overlaps right where your seam allowance begins. So now I'm going to use a stretch stitch and a 3 8 inch seam allowance and sew my side pieces and then I'll be right back. Okay, so this is where you should be now um, is what I've done is sewn the princess seams for the back and for the front and then I pressed them down. I pressed the seams towards the inside, towards the middle and that'll make them lay nice and flat. Otherwise, it's going to lay like this, like whenever you sewed it, but whenever you press it, then it lays flush um, that way. And now is what we're going to do is we're going to take our back piece and lay that one flat down. And we're going to put our front pieces oh, this way, right sides together. And you're going to make sure when you lay the front down that the flat opening goes to the middle and that your arm size are on the outside. And what you're going to match up now is your shoulder seam. So we're going to sew along the shoulder right here on both sides. So we're going to sew that now with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, so this is what you should have now that you've sewn your shoulders. And I went back and I just top stitched my princess seams like this just so that it would lay flat on the inside. And I did that on all the princess seams. And now we are ready, and that's optional. You don't have to top stitch. It's just if you want them to lay flatter. Um, and now we're ready to insert our sleeves. So you're gonna want to grab your sleeve piece and we're going to put it right sides together. So I'm gonna determine what is the right side. And also remember which one is the back and the front. So I just made a marking to indicate which one is my front and which one is my back. So this is my front. So this one goes here. And this is the front of the sleeve. So this one goes here. So you're going to just match up these sleeves. We're going to pin them all along this arm side right here. And then sew it um, with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. So now I have sewn the sleeves in. Let me just lay everything out so you can see what it should look like. And this is with the right side showing. I'll show you from the wrong side. So this is the front right here, this open part. And then this is the back. And then here is where the sleeve is sewn. So here's one sleeve and you see how it's sewn onto that. And then here is the other sleeve. And now we are going to put it where the fronts and backs are right sides together like this. And we're going to match up the sides. So we're gonna start at the bottom and get a clip and put that here. And we're gonna match up your arms, your arm side, your arm seam right here. And then I'm gonna pin all the way down the sleeve so that it should look like this. We're gonna do that on both sides. 
once I get that clipped, I'm going to sew this with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, so this is where you should be right now, and you should have your bodice completely done, um, where the sleeves are set in. The only thing that's left on the bodice is to do our to finish um, this opening right here, but we will wait and do that after we have attached our skirt. So you can go ahead and set this to the side, and you're going to want to grab your skirt pieces, and um, I'm going to do mine with pockets. If you're not doing pockets, then you can skip this part. Um, so the skirt back is going to be the one that was cut on the fold so it's going to be the one that is wider and hopefully you have marked your po your pocket placement um, at the top let me see if i marked mine yes i marked mine this is the, so this is my top right here um so i'm going to put the pockets right side down like this So I'm going to put the pockets on top of the skirt and only sew the pockets down. And I'm going to do that on the back and then I'm going to do the same thing on the front. So let me grab a front piece to show you. So you're going to lay a front piece down and then do and then you'll put oh, like this. And then you will put pockets right side together on top of your each front piece. And sew those on the sides. Um, and then after we sew those down, we'll be ready to sew the side seams of the skirt. So I have sewn the pockets on right sides together. This is the way that the back of my skirt looks like this. And here's the way the front pieces look is the same. So they're sewn right sides together. And now is what you're going to do is put the front on the back with the pockets open so you're going to open up your pockets like this and we're going to sew our side seams so in order to sew them you, you well if you're not doing the pockets you will just sew straight down but if you're doing the pockets is what you're going to want to do is start at the top sew this piece sew around your pocket and then come back down until the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin that so everything, or clip it, so everything stays lined up, and then we will head to the machine. Okay, so after I go down the side seams, I go to my regular machine and I stitch this part on the pocket. Like I go back over it because this um, going from here to here can be very hard. Like you can pull it apart and try and get a smooth seam, but you're not going to catch all of it. So I just go back over this and make sure that I've caught everything whenever I got the pocket right here. And this is what, that's from the wrong side. From the right side you'll notice that there's a hole anywhere that you missed getting the pocket. It's easy to get in the top. It's the bottom part because the angle is so sharp that you're gonna want to use your regular machine on this part. So this is what that seam looks like. I just made sure that I went and caught all of that so that from the right side, when you open up your pocket, there's not a hole there. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the other side. And once we finish um, our pockets, we're going to want to sew a gathering stitch at the top. Um, right, you'll know the top because the pockets are closer to the top. So from one end to the top of the skirt, all the way to the other, we're gonna sew two um, basting stitches. Um, and is, in order to do that, we're just gonna put our machine at the highest um, a straight stitch, the highest stitch length possible and just sew two rows and then we'll pull the threads and that'll allow us to gather it.
Okay, so when you sewed your basting, your gathering stitches, you're gonna wanna make sure that you leave long tails on both ends of the seam. And now um, the last thing I wanna do is make a mark on the very center back. So take, you could have done this also whenever you cut them out on the fold, um, but make a mark in the center back. And this is just to help with gathering so that um, we have an even amount of gathers on each side of the back. And then after you've made that mark, we're gonna pull those gathering strings um, until we make the skirt the same width as the bottom of the bodice. Okay, so you also want to mark the bottom of your bodice where the middle is on your back. And that way you can match up those points. So this is your bodice and then you have your skirt. And I'm gonna put the right sides of each facing up towards me and then just open them up. I'm gonna get the right side of my skirt and put it to the right side over that. So the top of my skirt is at the bottom of my bodice and you see how it is much longer. The skirt part is much longer than the bottom of the bodice. So is what I'm going to do is pull these strings. So I like to pull the bobbin. You're gonna pull them and then let them gather. And you're going to gather them until the skirt is the same width as the bodice. And you want to match up your side seams and then your back center, okay? Okay, so we have all of our gathers nice and even and clipped in place, and now we're ready to sew them on. And we're going to sew the seam with a 3 8 inch seam allowance, um, and then once we're finished with that, look, we will have our main part um, done. Okay, let's head over to the machine. Okay, so now that I have sewn my um, bodice to the skirt, I'm going to check all my gathers and make sure that I'm happy with the way that it's sewed. And if you are, then you are ready to remove your basting stitches. So basting stitches are super easy to remove. You can um, seam rip them or you can just get a hold of one end and pull them out. Since you use such a long stitch length, it's not a very secure stitch. So once we have that finished, we'll be ready for the next step. Um, you can even try it on at this point, um, just to see if you like the way it fits and see if you need to make any changes in the fit. Okay, so now we are gonna make some ties for the front of our bodice. And in order to make the ties, you're going to cut six strips of fabric that are one and a half inches wide and that are about 20 inches long. Um, the pattern says anywhere from 20 to 24 inches. Um, I cut mine 20 inches. Um, and you can do them wider than that if you want a wider strip. Um, this is going to make them this as a finished tie. Um, or you can even use ribbon or um, anything that you want to use as an embellishment. Or you can even put in buttons. Um, but I'm going to be showing you how to do them with fabric strips. So in order to do them with fabric strips, you are going to put them right sides together with the length going this way. And you're going to sew down one side. And you're going to do this on each of the ties. Okay, now that you have one long end sewn like this, you're going to sew a short end. But before you sew a short end, I like to put in um, like a safety pin and pin it on that side so that it's easier for me whenever I need to go. So whenever I need to go and turn it right side out, that this pin is already in there. There. 
So I clipped a safety pin. I know it's hard to see it because I'm doing it like inside. I'm doing it on the right side and see how it's clipped there. Um, you could even do it before you sew the long end if you wanted to. But anyway, so I do it like just right near the end, but enough that after I put this clip in that I can sew one end down. So I'm gonna sew this end down. Let me show you. So I just sewed one short end, and now that I have this short end sewn, the other one is still open. And I'm gonna push this safety pin all the way through until I can get to the other side. And once I'm at the other side and I have it, I can turn it right side out, and I'm gonna do this with all six ties. Okay, so now I get a chopstick, and that helps me get the rest of the end out like this. So I'll feed the chopstick through. And then I'll use it to poke out my corners, but not all the way through. I don't want to go through my stitching, but just to make sure I got all of this out of here. I'm going to get as much of it as I can. And there you go. And we're going to do this with all the other ties. Okay, so now we should have the main part of our robe sewn, and we should have six either pieces of ribbon or six pieces of self-made ties. Mine were self-made. And then you need to have markings on your front. Um, on your front, that, and if you forgot to mark them, you can grab the pattern piece of the front bodice and grab them. And is what you're gonna do is, so you have one end that is finished, and then you have the other end that is not, and that is just open. Well, you wanna take the end that is open and then line it up with your placement markings like this. And you're gonna do that all along um, both sides. You should have three on each side that are roughly around the same spot. And we're gonna take these and I'm going to get a clip and then clip or pin each one of them down in the spot where they go where the marking is. And then I'm just going to sew like a little um, basting stitch or some kind of small um, stitch, uh, probably a stretch stitch over each one of these just to kind of secure them in place. And once we have these sewn down, we'll be ready to do our facing. And the facing is what is gonna finish this entire opening. Um, okay, so let's head over to the sewing machine and base these down. Okay, so now that you have done, that you have secured your ties to the front, I just secured them right sides together. So that means you wanna put the seam, if you did self ties, you wanna put the seam facing up and the side you want facing out down. So now we can set that aside and you're going to get your interfaced facing. So start with this neck, this neck piece and you're gonna face the right side out and then you're going to grab your two long pieces that go in the front and you're going to lay them on top like this. So right sides together like this and go ahead and put a clip right here and we're going to sew these seams right here with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And then after we finish that, we're gonna start on the bottom of one side and either get your serger or use a zigzag on your sewing machine. And then you're going to serge or finish the entire outer edge. So all around, okay? So let's head um, to the serger and do that. So now that we have um, finished our facing, we need to line up the part that you did not serge. So the edge that is not finished, we are going to line up all with the edge of the front. So starting around the back, I'm going to pin, first I'll pin the shoulder seams together. You are pinning this right sides together. So this is the outside that's pretty. And then after we sew it, we're gonna be able to push this to the inside. So right now we're sewing right sides together and we're going to pin this all the way down the front. And then this facing, make sure you match these two corners right here. And the facing should end about an inch above your hemline. When you're sewing this, you should not need to stretch anything. It should be an exact one for one feeding through. So it's not, you're, you're not easing anything in. 
And it's easier if you sew with the interfacing side facing up. You'll have less stretch. And you also wanna make sure you keep these ties out of the way. They're gonna be sandwiched between so that you're sewing them like that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you whenever I was pinning it that it was an inch away. You see how it didn't go exactly to the end? And now I'm gonna sew right across here with a stretch stitch on my sewing machine. So there you have it. I sewed all the way around that and then across and then it ends right here. And then you're going to turn this out. I'll use something to like, um, I'll use a, a turner to poke through that corner. And then it's automatically gonna kind of fold that under and you're gonna continue that fold all around the hem. And it gives you, see that nice clear finish on the edge right there. And then I'm also going to, after I do this on the other side and, and iron all that, I'm gonna iron this all down. So you should have at this point, the bottom hem completely pressed down. So let me show you, this is the right side and then this is the wrong side. So here's your facing and there's your hem. And we're gonna just start at one corner, go along the entire hem. This is the bottom of the row. And then we're gonna go all the way to the next facing and then we'll pivot. And then we're gonna go all, we're gonna sew this facing all the way down. And I'm gonna do it with a stretch stitch using my twin needle. Um, you can use any kind of stretch, um, um, you can use a cover stitch or, or any kind of machine that you have that will stretch with the hem. And you are doing the entire opening of the row. Um, once we finish this, all we'll have left is to hem our sleeves. Okay, so let's get started on this. Okay, so all we have left is to hem our sleeves. I would suggest trying it on and seeing where you would like for yours to be. Um, I tried mine on and then I ironed down the hem allowance and now I am going to sew it. Right now I'm sewing on the right side because I'm using um, my twin needle, but just make sure whatever stitch you're using is a stretch stitch. Um, or you can use your cover stitch if you have a cover stitch. and I am finished. You are finished. Um, the only thing I have left is I'm going to go back and I'm going to clip any like loose threads that I have anywhere. Um, and now you're done. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it.